In the next set of tutorials, we are going to be looking at Live Path Effects or LPEs for short. LPE is a way you would use to apply effects on a path. These effects could be bends, twists, transformations, replications, and so on. By the way, don't worry if this sounds intimidating at the beginning. It was for me too, but I have gone through scores of literature and publications just finding the perfect way I can show you how to do it. At the end of the tutorial, you will notice it is super easy to use the tool and get going. You would have unlocked that potential to create authoritative visual illustrations. It will be a game-changing moment. And once you master it, you also have saved thousands of euros by not paying a scientific illustrator to do it for you. You also have saved time in hit and miss trials trying to create a perfect illustration. Just like you've saved quarrels with your boss, who may have needed a nature or science quality illustration, but for which you were never trained. Are you getting excited? Let's get started. Inkscape has many LPEs and there are still many being developed. It would be counterproductive for me to cover all in one video. I have considered the approach of treating each LPE separately and giving a concrete real-life example in a follow-up video so that you get the most out of this endeavor and learn to apply the effects in different new situations. It's all for you. Do you feel it is still going to be overwhelming? Do not worry. You could still visit my website in the description to get downloads of illustrations which you can easily tweak for your work. This could be things like the DNA helix, phospholipid bilayer, test tubes, beakers, and the list goes on and on. And I will be updating them from time to time. So come again and visit to get more. And if you need more in the future, I am writing a brand new book on how you can use Inkscape and other free tools in visual scientific communication. It is all yours. The first LPE we are going to consider is bend. With this effect, we make a control path and use it to bend existing path or skeletons. In principle, this function creates an invisible Bezier segment on an object which you can use to change the shape of the object. To have a gentle recall, let us start by looking at a visible Bezier line as we saw before. Let us take the Bezier tool Click on the board, hold the control key down and pull to the right to create a straight line. Then I am going to duplicate so that we have three lines. For the first one, select the node tool, click on it, then grab it somewhere in the middle and pull up to create a dome. You can alter the shape by moving the mouse to the right or to the left. Select the second line, press N as shortcut for the note tool to have the notes, then select both notes by clicking and pulling over the notes. They will then turn blue. Then come up here and insert new notes into the selected segment. Holding the Alt or Option key down, grab one of the notes in the middle and pull it up to create a bell shape. Hit H to pull it right or left. Hit V to turn it upside down. Click by the side to see the new object. Select the third line, press N as shortcut for the note tool to have the notes. Then select both notes by clicking and pulling over the notes. They will then appear blue. Then come up here and insert new notes into the selected segment. Click by the side to unselect all notes. Now click on a note to select it. It will turn blue. You can now hold it to bend the line. So in the next minutes, you are going to see how, by using the bend effect, we will now create invisible Bezier lines that can be used to distort the shapes of existing objects. To demonstrate how this works, let us start by drawing a rectangle. Select the rectangle tool by clicking here, or use the keyboard shortcut R or F4, then draw a rectangle. Hit the space bar to select the object. Go to Object, Fill and Stroke, and set the fill here to a color of your choice. 
and also set the stroke paint and stroke style. With the object still selected, go to Path, Path Effects or use Shift Ctrl 7. Select the plus sign here where it reads Add Path Effect. Under Add Path Effect, search for Band, then select Add. This will apply the Band LPE to our object by creating a control path which we do not see. Therefore, we will not see a change yet. We need to access the control path we just made and alter it to change the object. If we look here on the right, we have several options available to choose from. Here where it reads path along which to bend the original path, we have edit on canvas, copy path, paste path, and link to path on clipboard. Select the edit on canvas option. Do you now notice this green line that appeared on your object? Cool. This line is a Bezier segment and we can treat it as we did with lines created with the Bezier tool. However, here, the line disappears in the background, allowing us to see our new shape. Grab the last one third of the line and pull it up. Do you notice the change? Select the object, take Ctrl D to duplicate. While holding the Ctrl key down, pull the duplicate down. You notice that the new object still keeps the LPE we applied to its parent object. Now with this first object still selected, select N or the Note tool to see the notes. To see the original path on which we applied an effect, you can select this tool up here where it reads Show Path Outline Without Path Effects. Click on it to see the original rectangle. And selecting the next option by the side, you'll be able to see the Bezier handles. Since the control object is a Bezier segment, we can also add more nodes to it to expand our flexibility to modify our object. Let us draw another rectangle. Press the spacebar to select it. Then select Shift Ctrl 7 to access the path effects. Select plus and search for bend. Then go and add. Choose the Edit on Canvas tool to access the green Bezier segment again like before. Now select the first node of this segment. While holding the Shift key down, select this second one. Go now up here and insert new nodes into the selected segment. Add notes, add notes, add notes as much as you can. Make sure all the notes are selected. Then holding the Alt or Option key down, you can grab one of them and pull to change the shape of the object. In this short tutorial, we have applied the bend effect to single objects. When you have several objects, the same still applies. We will need to convert all the grouped objects to a path and proceed in the same way like we've done here. So in the next tutorials, we are going to do an example or several examples by creating a phospholipid membrane and bending it. Then we'll create a nuclear membrane and curve it or bend it. After that, we'll also do a short follow-up video to show how you can bend the DNA helix we've illustrated in a previous video. These skills are useful in illustration of complex scientific processes. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helps you in your work or education. If you like what I'm doing, please leave your comments below and do consider subscribing if you've not yet done so. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.